So we've made an environment for ourselves that's far too clean and our immune systems are falling on their noses as a result. The immune system is, of course, essential to, to good health, a properly functioning immune system. And what we've seen since the 1960s, uh, 70s, is uh, been an explosion in the incidence of um, immune system-related problems, allergies, asthma and the allergies, uh, conjunctivitis, dermatitis, and the eosinophilic gastrointestinal disorders, and also some evidence beginning to emerge that we are becoming more vulnerable to infection with a variety of agents. When you put all these pieces of evidence together, it looks very much as if um, certain elements of our immune system have become compromised. The hygiene hypothesis covers some of this. And quite recently, it's become evident that um, a large part of this has been due to the over-sanitation of the food chain. What's happened is that certain very interesting compounds called 1,3,1,6 beta-glucans have been rigorously removed from the food chain. They, they were always there uh, in fermented foods such as breads, beers. What's happened is changes in food technology have removed them from those types of foods. And the other sources would have been low levels of contamination in, in almost every food, like the spots on your apples and pears and fruits and things like that. That's all gone because we soak the countryside in fungicide these days to reduce crop losses. Understandable. But we now find that the spots on the apples are probably as important for your health as the apples themselves because they contain these compounds, the 1,3,1,6 glucans that we now know play a critical role in priming your macrophages, your neutrophil granulocytes, tumorocidal granulocytes, and all the other cellular components of the innate immune system. If they're primed, they do their job and protect you from infection. And they also do their job by regulating elements in the acquired immune system that we now know are deeply involved in allergy and possibly autoimmune disease as well. So we've made an environment for ourselves that's far too clean and our immune systems are falling on their noses as a result. The work that's being done in Norway, uh, here in, in the UK, uh, in Korea and in the United States is really putting the whole picture together now. And what we're finding is that by putting these beta-glucans back into the food chain, you reset the immune system, you normalize its function, improve resistance to infection, and reduce allergy as well. A real breakthrough. The key product, of course, is NutriShield, which we've described to you today. But there's one other product that I'd like to draw your attention to, and that's Immunishield. And what Immunishield does is it is a yeast-derived nutrient which literally challenges our immune system, raises the game, if you like, for our immune system. Now, Immunishield has a tremendous amount of, of research behind it. It essentially it boosts your immune system, which is important, particularly in the winter months when you're traveling on crowded trains, where you're working in a crowded environment, maybe in the office. Boosting your immune system is critically important. And this is undoubtedly the most powerful immune booster uh, that has yet been devised. And I say that because it's been subjected to research by a major NATO country, and it, out of 300 immune modulators, immune boosters, it came out as number one. By putting these beta-glucans back into the food chain, you reset the immune system, you normalize its function, improve resistance to infection, and reduce allergy as well. A real breakthrough.